right, everybody, welcome back to Mudrasana. This is a fusion, it's a non-impact class, and it's a combination of, of mat pilates and bar and athletic strength, everything that you know uh, already, and we make it flow like yoga most of the time. So all you have to do is grab a towel if you're coming in late, that's all you need, or a scarf or a t-shirt. Right. So let's just get here, guys. So you've got your towel uh, in the front of your area, feet hip width apart, just shake out your hands, shake out whatever you don't need for this class and for the rest of your day. And then go ahead and put one or both hands in your heart. We're just taking two breaths on your own into your heart space. With every inhale, feel the energy coming from the ground all the way up through your body. Allow your heart to lift into your hands. Take one more just like that. And I want you to set an intention for this class today. So whatever comes to mind and allow that thought to also fill your body, fill your heart with some strength, some energy, some love. All right, hands come down, hip width apart. If you're new to my class, put your fingers on your hip points, look down and make sure your second toes are pointing forward, that's hip width today. Let's just start with your squats. Nice and easy. So you can look down a couple times and make sure when you squat that your knees are tracking over that second toe, the center of your feet. From the side, you can keep facing forward, but your spine is neutral. So keep moving, you guys. I'm going to hold my squat, but you keep moving. So if you could take a picture of you from the side, your spine would be the same angle as your shins. So that's what you're going for. Every time you stand up, you are contracting your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. So we're not locking our knees back. We're contracting. So think about that. A couple more just like that. I want you to hold at the bottom. This is going to be a pretty traditional move your awesome warm-up. You're going to take your right arm open and exhale, close it. Nice, just like that. Left arm opens and close. So you're allowing your chest to rotate, but you're not allowing your hips and your knees to shift or rotate. So if you're unsure, just gaze down, and if your knees are, are shifting forward and back, then that means your hips are also shifting forward and back. So you should feel a, a slight squeeze from that shoulder blade to the spine. Yeah, just do one more on each side. And before we start moving again, bigger, I want you to hold this squat position and try to scrub your feet out. So I'm energetically trying to push my mat side to side, so it's that lateral uh, tension. Hold there, and now as you stand up, your left arm does a backstroke, you drop into a chair, and then your right arm. But I want you to really focus, especially if you're new to me, on that lateral tension on the ground. So you should feel the sides of your glutes. Yes, nice, you guys. You can move absolutely faster than I'm going if you'd like. And if you're playing music, I hope you are. <laughs> Go to that beat. <laughs> nice. Unless it's super fast techno, then don't go with that beat. <laughs> Couple more just like that. Good job. All right, going right into double back strokes. So if you want to bend your elbows like I'm doing, I could do that to uh, minimize any pain in my shoulder. You can, do, you can follow me. Or if you can, you go all the way up and around and down. So you guys know the drill. Now notice when I'm from the side, I'm not flaring my ribs. I'm really using my legs and my abdominals so that I don't just shift forward. Do two more for me. You got your speed, not mine. Nice. All right, we're gonna hold up today. So take your hands up over your head, unshrug your shoulders, and then lift your heels up and set them down. So let's just do these calf raises. It's really to warm up the bottoms of our feet, our ankles especially, and also getting some nice extension of the toes. Good job. Two more just like that. Again, abdominals are still engaged. Hold this last one up right here. I want you just to move the arms. So elbows come to the waist. Yes. Inhale on up. Good job. Working on that balance. You're keeping your ankles directly under your hips. 
meaning <laughs> they're not sickling ah, out to the side. Don't even try that. Ouch. That's not uh, good for the health of your ankles. Keep breathing. Two more just like that. If you can stay up on the toes, great. Ah, yep, working on balance. Oh my gosh, don't look at me. Alrighty, take your arms out to a T. That'll help with the balance. Stay there. Ears directly over hips, over ankles. You're gonna bring your knees forward, and it's as if you're at the back of your head and your hips are sliding down a wall. So you notice I'm not leaning forward. I'm still trying to keep my heels very, very high. Your arms are there for balance. Nice, do two more for me. And this last one, we're gonna hold the bent knees. Whoa, you're gonna hold that down position. It's funny, I have better balance when I'm outside in the breeze than <laughs> inside. Hold here. Now your option is to put your heels down, but I want you to try to helicopter your arms to one side, your chest and arms to one side. Woo. Back to center. Yep, and come to the other side. Keep breathing. Nice, do one more on each side. So it's as if you're holding a broomstick behind your, your shoulder, so one hand isn't leading. When you make it to center, just put the heels down. Woo. Thank God. Inhale your arms to the sky. Listen carefully. We're not going all the way down to the floor yet. So I want you to hinge forward. So I straightened my legs a little bit. I have a micro bend on my knees. My nice long extended spine. You're going to take your arms out to a T and you're going to pulse up, up an inch, down inch. We have a lot of shoulders <laughs> in our future. You know, if you're used to towel day, it tends to be really, really intense on the shoulders. We're also going to be incorporating a lot of our back muscles. Five more. Abdominals are engaged. Four, three. Now we're going to keep this hinge position and do some deep knee bends with the, the soles of the feet stay on the ground. So you can stop the arms, just bend the knees and straighten. That's it. Now you might have more uh, flexibility in the hamstrings than I do. You might look more like an L, like this. And that's cool too, as long as you're not rounding your spine. You might have less of an L shape. <laughs> Two more. Good job, everybody. Hold right here. All right, arms up, Utkatasana. That's a traditional chair pose, yogi chair pose. Exhale your hands all the way down to your mat. And your fingers are going to be about a foot in front of your feet. So bend your knees as much as you need to. And then you're going to those deep knee bends again. <sighs> Ribs on the thighs. We do this all the time in this class. Yes. So your fingers, pads are on the ground so that when you straighten your legs, you don't fall on your head. Because I do want you to try to stack your hips over those ankles. Nice, you guys. Two more. Try to keep your head relaxed and dangling. <laughs> One more. <sighs> Holding the straight legs, just take your hands to your elbows and sway it out. Sway, sway, sway. <sighs> Good job, you guys. Just feeling out the lower back, feeling out through the obliques. Continue to breathe. Sway yourself back to center or make it to the mat. Bend the knees, foundation the hands directly to the shoulders. Step your feet back in that high plank position. If you need to modify, all you do is put your knees on the mat. That's it. Shoulders are lined up directly over the wrist crease, pushing down with your pointer finger thumbs. Stay put. I want this rotary tension. So you're trying to externally rotate your hands against the resistance of the ground, right? So you're not going to actually be moving your hands, but try it. And you're going to feel your lats lock into place. Your chest will light up a little bit. You're just holding this plank. Inhaling the crown of your head forward, front ribs in, belly button in as you exhale. If you're still on your toes, see if you can contract your quadriceps. Good job. We're going on the forearms in 10 seconds. So if you're on your knees, just stay there. Everyone's squeezing their bottoms for three, two, one elbow goes down, the second elbow goes down. Middle fingers are pointing forward. Everybody bend your knees. We do this all the time. It's a functional plank. Now, you probably don't have a mirror next to you, but I want you to feel how your sacrum is about the same height as your shoulders. So it's not up here. You have to be back a little bit. You're energetically drawing elbows to knees, knees to elbows, <sighs> breathing. It's a neutral spine, so no tucking of the tail. Nice job. You can keep looking down towards the ground between your wrists. 
10 more seconds. Just holding, 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 holding. Five, you got this. Four, three, two. All right, today, listen up. You're gonna push your palms into the ground, lift your elbows up, and sit back. And this would be, and you can put your forehead down for this first one. And this would, I call it not child's pose, but it's really puppy pose if you're in yoga, your hips are directly over your knees. So we're gonna flow back and forth through those two postures right now. So I want you to put your elbows down, find that coffee table plank, push down, hips come up. Elbows go down, coffee table plank. We're kind of warming up through the shoulders because we're about to really stabilize in a second here. Two more, you'll see. Focusing more on triceps, you have one more. All right, here come the triceps, gang. Try to keep that coffee table plank. This is level one. Lift one elbow up, second elbow, slowly resist down to the mat. Again, you alternate that lead elbow and then both go down at the same time. Now you can absolutely do this on your toes if you'd like, and then work the negative. The full shebang is both elbows up at the same time, slowly put them down. Both elbows up, I can't do this on my toes, but go for it, and down. So you have lots of options here. Yes, keep going, I wanna see this, you guys. I wanna see it. Look down towards your wrists. Yep, so tuck your chin a little bit for me. It is, yes, there we go, that was beautiful. Nice, Effie, good job. Really, really good. Two more, everybody, two more. One more like that. Nice, and then push yourself back, put, keep your hands there, and then just go right back into that puppy pose. Unshort the shoulders. We're gonna do five back and forth, just like we started this. Put the elbows down, coffee table plank, puppy pose. Do about four more, depending on your speed. Good job, two more. Ish, <laughs> one more. All right, your forearms are already down. Let your hips drop, point your toes in the back. Make sure your elbows are still underneath your shoulders. This would be sphinx if you're in yoga class. Press actively the tops of your feet into the mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Little extension of the spine. And as you exhale, you're just gonna slip your hands back. So they're um, a little lower than the shoulders, but they don't have to be all the way back in chaturanga position. Just a little bit lower. You're gonna keep your hands nice and light. Contract your abdominals already. You're energetically pulling them up off the ground. Float your hands up. Push with the tops of your feet and then lift your chest only one inch. Don't go into full cobra. So you're only going up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Can you push your pinky toes into the ground? Pinky toes, give it a shot. Yes, legs are fully engaged. Abdominals are fully engaged. You're not coming up crazy high. Four more. Yes, I want this more mid back. Three, two, hold your hover. You're reaching your arms over your head, and then you're gonna pull your elbows to your waist. We do this all the time. Reach and pull. Again, tops of the feet, still pressing down, abdominals still hollowing. Oh, two more like that. One more good one. Send your hands back behind you, make tight fists. You can keep gazing at your mat, and then float your arms and your hands higher than your, your hips, and then lift up and inch down it but I'm not as high as I can go. I'm not in full uh, cobra chest. <sighs> Abdominals hollowing. Good, just feeling a little bit of heat in your triceps. We're gonna work them pretty hard <laughs> later in class. Five, four, three, nice, two, and one. All right, go ahead and set your hands uh, below your shoulders, press yourself up. Knees are wide, toes are together. Go ahead and sit back in a, in a traditional child's pose. <sighs> Take three breaths into your belly and expand your back body. You probably are done with one. Do two more breaths, your own pace. Do your nose preferably. Remember on those inhales, your belly presses down or just naturally falls down and your ribs are moving in those four directions. All right, good job. Press up hands and knees. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Actually, Instead of walking all the way up today, I just want you to walk your feet forward 
and we're gonna go under our backs before we do our little plank series. All right, all right, standing arm plank series. All right, so rolling on down, feet hip width apart. We're gonna activate our glutes, and then we're gonna be on our feet and start this class. Inhale right where you are. As you exhale, imprint your low back into the mat, tip your hips up, just in a Pilates bridge, so your hip bones are lower than your knees, not in full yoga bridge. From here, energetically try to draw your heels towards your seat. If you saw that, I, I literally just moved my, my torso down because of that hugging action. Your jaw, you can put your hands on your hips, your jaw to keep your pelvis level. I want you to start with easy hip uh, knee walks, excuse me, yep, in the shoulder bridge, keeping your hip bones level. We're only doing four more, so only two more on each side. You don't have to have your hands on your hips, by the way. All right, let your hands float by your sides, palms up, or you can have these bent elbow goal, goal pulse arms. Please take your right leg to the sky, straight up to the sky. Yep, you're gonna take your leg down so that your thighs are lined up. You're gonna take your leg laterally out to the side and come back up. So you're making this quarter circle. You go down, out, and up. Now your job is to keep that, say my right leg is moving, so you're to keep your right hip level with your left hip. Give it a shot, you guys. You're going out to the side, up and around. Yes, do one more for me, just one. Yep. Nice. Bend the knee, put that foot down, keep the hips up. Second leg, so now I'm going left leg. Yep. You're gonna float that leg down so your thighs are lined up. You take the leg out to the side, you make this quarter circle back to up. Yes. Can you keep even pressure on both shoulders? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Give it a shot. You're really powering down with your foundation foot. Slower is harder. Do one or two more depending on your speed. <sighs> keep your bent knee directly underneath the hip, finishing up your last rep. Nice, you guys. Bend the knee, slowly roll down. Bring your knees into your chest. You're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna cross my ankles. So I'm gonna cross my ankles. Hands come forward. Step your feet back. High plank position to start. We're not gonna be here very long. So all 10 fingers nice and wide. Push down with the pointer finger thumbs. Bend your knees into crouching cat. And shoot forward. Only four more. Inhale, squeeze your butt, exhale. Two more. Nice, good job. One more, just like that. Pike up into your down dog. We're only gonna do three of the wave, wave planks. So inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, wave forward. And then pike back. Two more. Lift, wave, pike it back. Last one, you guys. Lift the heels, that should feel great. Wave, pike it back. Inhale, lift your heels, bend the knees. Take a baby walk forward. You got it. Feet land hip width apart. Slide halfway up. So this is traditional halfway lift in yoga or flat back, they call it. But while you're here, I want you to try to, again, scrub those feet side to side, lateral tension. Let your hands float in space. That's that hinge position. You're gonna do that upright row to bring yourself up. Elbows pull back, front ribs in. Do that three more times. Inhale, push the hips back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Hinge. And up. All right, team, we're ready to go. <laughs> go ahead and reach for your towel. Hope you guys are playing music out there. <laughs> All righty. So you're going to have your hands wider than your shoulders, okay? So just a little bit wider than the shoulders. Yep, you got it. Looks great, Catherine. All right, nice flat wrist. So a lot of people tend to um, bring their knuckles up, but try to keep your wrist flat. I'll, I'll remind you. All right, feet hip width apart. Yep, hands out in front. Let's do that lunge series. You're going to step your left foot back, right knee directly over the foot. So this is a short lunge. This first one, we're setting it up. The knees under the hip. I call it a 90-90 lunge, 90 degree angles. Tuck your tail, abs nice and tight. Little side bend over to your right. So we're just getting this nice opening through that left side psoas area, quadricep. Step forward, second side. First you're here, 
level the pelvis. Yeah, make sure the knees are over the feet on this first one. And then we're gonna keep that alignment on the next hundred that we do. Okay. All right, you guys alternate. Here we go. Step back, side bend. We're not doing a hundred of these, but we will end up doing probably more than a hundred lunges today. More than that. Yes. So you got your pace, not mine. So here's the trick with the towels. You're playing tug of war. So there's this constant lateral tension. I guess I'm saying that word a lot today, those words, on the towel. So we're lighting up our shoulders. I actually like holding really any kind of object doing these workouts because it just kind of connects the upper and the lower body. Finish up one more repetition, whatever it evens you out. And we're all gonna keep our right foot forward. So go ahead and step back with your left foot. Yes, tear that towel apart. Now you're gonna keep this tension as you rotate over that right thigh and back to center. Just start there. So it's as if your right hand is the puller and my left arm is resisting. Yep, good. You're keeping your right knee directly over the foot. Nice. And those of you, all of you actually that are live with me are my old, <laughs> old students. So you know you should be dragging your front heel back and drawing your back toes forward. Now notice I'm not bending my elbows and I'm not, check this out you guys, I'm not going like this. I'm rotating as if there's um, something in the center of your towel and that stays directly in the center of your chest. Yes, two more just like that. You should be starting to feel that right gluten thigh. <laughs> One more. All right, keep the towel to your right. You're gonna step your left foot across, so we're now in a curtsy lunge, you know, we do this all the time, and now you're bending your right elbow. So I'm just gonna hinge so you can see my elbow. I'm bending that right elbow, yep, and I'm pulling back, so I'm gonna pulse. I'm gonna pulse down, I'll show you from the side. I'm gonna pulse down as my right elbow pulses. I'm using my back muscles. I'm resisting with this left arm for eight, seven, six, yes, five, good job. Four, three, you ready? Two, I want you to stand up, put that left toe out to the side first. And I still have this left arm straight. So I'm gonna come back, bending the right elbow, and then that's your toe. So that's if you don't, don't wanna balance, okay? If you wanna balance, you're gonna bring up that knee, and I'm still keeping the right elbow bent, left arm straight. Inhale, yes. Good, again, you can go faster. Now this, my left arm that's in front is totally straight, you guys, I'm not bending it. That's my foundation, that's my anchor, you can call it. Good. Two more like that, good job. Hold the up, hold the up as you can. Hold it up, nice. Now just take your hands down. But keep the towel in one hand, put your hands on your hips, or if you need your arms for balance, they're out to the side. We're gonna start in the front, and then open it back up. So just get it, yes, that looks great, you guys. Now it's this foundation leg, your right leg, should be contracted, fully contracted. Good, one more, hold it out when you get here. Now watch, you're gonna pick your ankle up and then rotate it down. Now go forward, now go out, pick up the ankle and down, yes. So getting this nice movement in that hip girdle. Good, now we're gonna move on. So we're layering this, it goes out, your heel comes up, you're gonna lean back, your target is warrior three or airplane here. You're gonna let your foot float down. You can rest it if you need to. <laughs> Just bring your knee up, here we go. Open, heel moves first, you're tucking your glutes, and then you hinge, and then down. So we're not doing arms, so I want you to really focus on the balance and the hips. We're getting this opening in this left hip. First goes the foot, then goes back. We have one more, and then we're holding warrior three or airplane. We're gonna use our towel. Open it out, good. Heel comes up, all right. 
Take your hand wider than the shoulders with your towel. You're in warrior three. You're gonna do a double row, holding your airplane. Now, if holding your airplane is just too intense, put your back toes down. Your choice. Go for eight. You're tearing the towel apart. Seven, you're just holding. Hinge, you guys. If you're hinged forward, you're not looking at me because I don't want you to crank your neck. Do about four more, depending on your speed. Three, two, one right here. Everybody hinge up with your toes back. So your, your right leg should kind of be on fire right now. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna change the concentration a little bit to our, our left leg. So you're here, you're gonna do a hamstring curl. So I am at a diagonal line, right? Diagonal line, hamstring curl. So I want you to focus on contracting that left hamstring. And then now we're gonna go back to this right side row. So we're gonna do a hamstring curl with the right side row. I'm playing tug of war. So I'm keeping my left arm super straight. My chest is rotating. And yes, your standing leg should be screaming at you in a nice way. Five more. Good job, team. Four, really use that right side of your back. Three, we're gonna hold the curl in two more. Hold the row in the curl. Hold the row in the curl right here. Breathing, pulse your heel to your glute like you're trying to pop a ball between your heel and your seat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step that left foot to the back of your area. Crescent lunge, inhale. Listen carefully. As you exhale, you're gonna pick up your front toes, turn your back toes sideways. You got it, everybody here? Yep, toes up, this is Skandasana. And then up, crescent lunge, whoo, I just fell over. Good, and then come on back. So I want you to just use your arms, a little bit of tension on that towel, flow. Crescent, sit back. So that's the relief on that front hip, is when you sit back all the way out. Yes, good. Inhale and exhale. I'm lifting my toes in the front, if you can see that. I'm lifting the toes right there. And then it's like I'm scooping something up. Do two more for me. This should kind of feel good. <laughs> nice. Last one. Finishing in this crescent lunge, arms overhead. Nice, you guys. Going down to the mat. Exhale your hands down. You can let go of your towel. Step that uh, right foot back. Breathe. Exhale, downward dog. And I just want you to bend your left knee to open up that right hip because that did a lot of work. Unshug your shoulders, plug down with the pointer finger thumbs, and then pedaling your knees right, left, right, left. Let's get some blood up to our upper body. So we're doing a little bit of push-ups today. So it should shift forward. Take your hands a little bit wider, so if you're on a yoga mat, only your thumbs would be on that mat. If you need to bend your knees to modify, great. Otherwise, check this out. You're gonna go down, side to side, one inch to the side, one inch to the side, and then came up. So you go down, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, center, and up. You can have to do this on your knees. You're halfway down, little shift, little shift, center, and up. I think these are called corn cob push-ups. Like you're eating corn, I guess, side to side. I'm not sure who made that up. Keep going. Down, side, side, center, and up. I want to see you guys. It's all about the plank. I don't care about the corn cob action. I care about your plank. Nice. Is your head in line with your spine? Is your head in line with your spine? As you bend your elbows. You're going to go for 15 more seconds. Nice, Alexandra. Good job. Yeah, it is. There you go. Try to do that side to side if, you're, if your shoulders can handle it. Good. Five, four, three, two. All right. Set the knees down. Everybody, child's pose. Thumbs up to the sky like karate chop hands. And I want you to just wiggle side to side. I'm putting a little bit more pressure into that left shoulder and underarm and then the right one. Big breaths. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We're just going to come up with the hands and knees, spin your feet around, reach for your towel, 
and you're taking, I know we all, most of us have little towels, so I want you to take your towel and roll it into, you know, just a baby ball, like a little, little baby burrito. <laughs> just have something, and then I'm taking that burrito and I'm squeezing it to make it a ball, right? That's all we're doing is making a little ball. Yes. All right, right between the knees. There we go. Feet are your towel width apart, hands on the hamstrings. Go ahead and tuck your tail round so your belly button's drawing down. I'll go sideways so you guys can see me. Right here, it's up an inch, down an inch. That's what the, the uh, upper body is doing, but it's not just up an inch, down an inch. I'm tipping my hips under. I'm actually have a little bit of contraction in my glutes. My hands are very light and I'm squeezing my towel using my inner thighs to stabilize the pelvis and get deeper into my abdominal wall. Good. Eight more like that. Seven. If you don't need your hands, don't use your hands. Five, four, three. Stay there. Two. And run nice. So from here, I want you to pull your elbows into your waist, tip your hips under again, reach up for the sky, and then pull them down. Now, if that's too much for you, hold on with one hand and just do one arm. Nice. Inhale, exhale. So my upper body is not moving. I'm squeezing my towel like crazy. Now, if you have one arm, switch your hands. Switch your hands for eight, seven, six. Belly button in your low back. Good. Four, three and a hold. Two, hold down. If you need to put your hands on your hamstrings, do so. If you don't, don't. Curling, now your upper body. These are kickstand curls. Up an inch, down an inch. So I'm tipping my hips under, I'm squeezing my glutes. If you feel like you're pooching out, <laughs> pooching, hold on. Reset and come back for the last 10 like this. Nine, good job. Eight, I know this is a lot of hip flexors. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, you can always hold on for four. Nice, three, good job you guys. Two, and one, take the towel out. Open up the knees. Instead of rounding, sit up tall because we're trying to get that expansion now in your anterior core since we just were hunched over. <laughs> Good. Stay right where you are. Take your left hand to the side, right hand reaches up, and switch. And just do one more on each side, going back to our feet so we can even out our legs. Uh, make sure your towel is pretty close to you. Cross your ankles, hands are forward, step your feet back. Down dog. Inhale your heels to the sky, exhale, bend the knees. You can walk or take a ninja hop to the top of your mat. Reach for your towel on, when you're down and roll on up. Good job. All right, we gotta do our left leg. So hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, right? Feet hip width apart. You're gonna step your right foot back and you're gonna find that 90-90 lunge. So knee over the foot, back knee over the hip, Hips are level, arms on that towel, hands on that towel. Okay, your easy start. Rotate over that left thigh, center. You're already hugging front heel back, back toes forward. So if you're on a mat, you're trying to wrinkle your mat. Yes, playing tug of war. So again, keep going, keep going. I'm not doing this with my arms. The only reason my arms are going that direction is because my chest is pointing that direction. There we go, that looks great. Nice job. Feel the lateral part of your shoulders. Nice, two more just like that. Woo. Keeping the knee over the foot, I'm saying that because mine's moving. <laughs> Good, now keep your arms over here to the left. Step the back foot across, yep. And now I'm just gonna show you, you're bending that left elbow. So I'm bending and I want you to pulse down as you try to row that left arm back. So my front arm is moving a little bit, just a little, I'm not going big. It's not this huge uh, helicopter move. It's a pulse. Getting the work into this front thigh, front glute, outer hip and glute for three, you're keeping your right arm straight, that's that front arm. You're gonna come on up, tap your right toe off the side. I'm still pulling, and then you come on down slowly first. <sighs> nice. Yes. <sighs> Good job. So left side of your back, 
left leg, of course, if you want to balance, here you go. Same thing, your right knee goes in that diagonal line, out to the side. Yes. So no noodle towels. If your towels are noodle, your arms are probably noodles. So you wanna keep that resistance, constant tension. Good. Relax your neck, relax your jaw. You can absolutely go faster than I'm going. Woo. Do two more for me. You're gonna hold this last one up, hold it up. You can just put the towel in one hand, does not matter which hand it's on, hands on your hips. Okay, so we're doing that hip opener. You're gonna close the hip first and then open. We're gonna do that maybe four times. Now, while you're starting to move, is your left leg fully engaged? That left quadricep really, really tight. One more like that. Nice, you guys. Great. Hold that thigh out. Now, just work on that ankle down and then bring it back in. Yep. So while you're practicing, when your ankle rotates up in the back, are you releasing your left glute? I'm saying that because I did when I was practicing this earlier. <laughs> you wanna keep your glute contracted. You can do right there, it's not easy. It's a pelvic tilt. Okay, here we go. Going and moving into airplane. Out to the side, yes. Foot comes up, moving on back. And then slowly bring it through the center. Lift. Lateral, heel comes up first. Try to keep that pelvic tilt. It's not easy, it's not easy. Whoa, especially if you have small hip sockets. Up, out, heel comes up. Try to keep that standing quadricep engaged. You have one more full one, one more full one, and then a partial one where we stay in airplane. Come on, you got it, got it guys. All right, here's our last one. My left leg is burning. Okay, here we go. Out, heel comes up. All right, airplane, you need your towel now. So take it, your hands a little wider than the shoulders. You're doing that row, double arm row. Exhale. It's also a distraction so that you can hold. So look down for me, guys. Look, Drop your chin, look down to the ground. There we go, keep your neck in a line. Great, three more, awesome. Two more, one more, hold here, hold. Everybody hinge up, hinge up a little bit so you're in a diagonal line. You're gonna start with that right leg hamstring curl. Now go so slow that it's as if it's like you're doing a slow bicep curl, like flexing for somebody. It's the same thing. It's the bicep of your hamstring. Squeeze and resist. And then since your right leg is doing the curl, your left elbow is gonna be doing that row again. Yes. Just think about that. I'm going slow because if I go fast, I lose the strength. I just kind of use momentum. So I'm really trying to contract, like I'm trying to pop a balloon between my heel and my glute. Yes, keep going. Keep your right arm straight, guys. Catherine, keep your right arm straight if you can. Yes, yes. So your, your chest can rotate. That's how you're gonna get the elbow back. There we go, that was awesome. Two more, perfect. Now you're holding this one. So ready, hold. Hamstring curl only. You're, you have that isometric contraction of your back and you're doing a little curl for your right glute. Curl, curl. Pelvic tilt so you're not arching and dumping the lower back. Eight, seven, Six, five, you're amazing. Four, three, two, step the back foot, crescent lunge, back of the mat. There you go. I gotta go forward so you can see this. Okay, this is that skandasana move. You shift, toes come up in the front, bend your knee so it's to the side, and you come back to the crescent. I'm just doing lower body to show you. And then sit back in that back hip. Here are the arms. Inhale up, and you can kind of do whatever arms feel good for you. I kind of scoop down. Crescent lunge, or circle around the back. Scoop, yes. And just make this yours. Just do you. Neutral spine if you can. Always tracking the knees over the center of the feet. So on both sides, this left foot in front and also in the back. About three more. Nice. Good. Take your time, take your time. I'm 
going to do one more. I'm going to finish in the front. Crescent lunge. Ready? We're going down to the ground. Exhale. Ditch the towel. Flatten your palms on the mat. Step that foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your right knee so you get that opening in the left hammy. Soften through the neck. Breathe. If you want to pedal out your legs right left, you do what feels good for you. Nice, everybody. One more breath right here. All right, let's set the knees down. Here comes your tricep attack. <laughs> so you're just on your knees. So if you have a hard surface like I do, go ahead and pad up either with a towel or just roll up your mat like that. So the tops of the feet are pressing into the ground. Tuck your tail under, that's just for um, the support of your spine. And then take your towel behind your back. My fingers are pointing down. Fingers are pointing down, yep. So the backs of the hands are to the ceiling. It's keeping your glutes engaged for now. Just lift your hands up as high as you can. It might not be that high. And then little pulses right here, staying upright. We're gonna hinge in a second, don't you worry. You can absolutely do this on your feet, of course. I like to do this on my knees though, because it's really hard to keep your, your pelvis level. You have to use your glutes so much more than when you're just standing. <sighs> 10, nine, ripping the towel apart side to side. Good, five, four, three, two. All right, you're gonna push your hips back, neutral spine, you guys know what's happening. You're still tearing the towel apart side to side. And then micro bend your elbows and straighten. Micro bend, straighten. I'm gonna bend a little bit more just so that you guys can see me bend. But you barely bend, straighten. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> nice. Looking down at the ground. Beautiful, you guys. Yep. So barely bend, barely bend. Your hands, your elbows, excuse me, stay really high as if I was holding them. And you just barely bend your elbows and you're trying to sneak it. 10 like that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, abdominals in, four, three, we're not done, two, hold the straight arms, watch this, watch my hands, my palms are facing down, and now I'm bending on my towel so that my fingers are pointing in, my fingers are facing each other now, ready, bend and straighten, if you are on your feet, you can be hug, scrubbing, excuse me, the feet side to side, right? Not your knees or feet. So my fingers are pointing in. I'm still bending and straightening. You should be feeling your triceps by now. Eight, seven, six, five. Good job. Four, three, two. Just undo that bend. So now my uh, palms are facing the ground once again. Keep your arms stick straight like we started with. And then lift and lower. Abs nice and tight. Yes, abdominals super, super, super tight. Triceps, there is no bend, zero bend to the elbow. Nice, you guys. Someone nod if you feel this. <laughs> Watch, okay, eight, seven, six, those were big nods. Five, four, three, two, all right, you're right. Ah! So just throw your towel on the ground. You can keep facing whichever direction you are. Take your right arm in front, hug with your left. Just getting some, because you've been pulling on the towel laterally, so that middle part of your delt's probably pretty cooked. And then send that right arm up and over your head, holding with the top and push your head back. Now again, if you're on your knees, you're gonna notice you have to do a little more harsh tilt to keep your glutes contracted. You're gonna lift up, whether you're on your knees or your feet, side bend over to your left. And I want you to breathe into this right side. So feel your ribs expand. Back to center, float the hands down. Other arm, I'm going right arm, excuse me, left arm across, left arm. It's your second side, you're still using your glutes if you're on your knees especially. Float that arm over your head, push your head back, Breathing, you're trying to, so with my left hand over my head, I'm trying to touch my left shoulder with my left fingers. Inhale to get taller, exhale over to the side if you haven't yet done that. Slow your breath. Nice, all the way up to center. 
Good job. Shake out the arms. If you're on your feet, climb down to the floor. <laughs> All right. So if you're on your knees, just take out your um, roll if you did that. Flipping back on our backs. Um, you don't need the towel right now, but keep it near you. Roll, roll, roll all the way down. So starting with some uh, traditional dead bugs. So your knees are directly over the hips. I want you to um, pr imprint today your low back into the mat. Sometimes we do it without, but today we are hands up to the sky. And with your hands up, make sure the backs of your shoulders are plugged into the mat so you're not protracting those shoulder blades. You can look straight up. Your right, either the knee is going to be bent and your toe is going to barely tap the ground or you're going to extend that right leg out and in your choice so it's only your right leg you guys right either the knee is bent or the leg is straight and if your leg is straight i'd like you to flex your foot i'm going to go straight leg so my right leg is moving now my left arm is going to go over my head or at least near my left ear it's only one side it's only one side that's you breathing. <laughs> so you need to be your own trainer here. Is your low back pushed into the mat? The answer is yes. The slower you go, the harder it will be. If you can keep your low back pushed into the ground, can you get your left knee, that's the bent knee, can you keep your left knee over the hip? Can you keep your left knee over your hip? Maybe, maybe not. Two more. Now I want you to hold your down. Hold that leg out and hold the arm up. Hold. Yes, hold. Yes. Whether your knee's bent or not, doesn't matter to me. Keep your left arm where it is and just the right leg is gonna go back up to where it started and then down, but my leg is straight now. So I'm keeping a straight leg. If you're doing the whole set with a bent knee, you're just keeping the knee bent, just like that. Good but the arms over your head. And an option is to take both arms over your head by your ears, your head gets to be down. That's the good news, but it adds more weight for four. Nice, you guys. Three, we are gonna hold. Two, one more, hold your down position. Hold your down position, hold, hold, hold. Lift your head and shoulders. Maybe, maybe not for five only. Four, yes, three, two, bring everything in. Nice. So we're gonna be doing our second side, but it's the same abdominals. <laughs> so take a second here and do whatever you need to do to mentally prepare. All right, good job. Maybe go back to your intention that you set at the beginning of class. All right, so knees directly over the hips, your legs are separated, arms are up, plugging the backs of the shoulders in the mat. So now I'm gonna go left foot. It's my other leg, my second leg. And I'm starting with a bent knee but you don't have to. You can go from a bent knee to that straight leg with a flex foot, your choice. And then now, if you haven't already, you add in the right arm, the opposite arm. Again, slower is more challenging. Yes. Can you keep the right knee over your right hip? Check it out. But the most important thing is your low back Staying down today. Ooh, I'm not moving my arm. Keep going, keep going. You guys are moving your left leg and your right arm. <sighs> nice. Two more. You're probably already feeling this because we already did our abdominals. And then now you're going to hold that leg out. So whether your leg is straight or your knee's bent, you're going to hold there. And I'm going to take that uh, so my straight leg up and down with my arm over my head. So if you're, if you're working with a bent knee, great. Just keep going with the bent knee with your arm over your head. Front ribs are knitting down. You have three more. This should be pretty intense by now. Two, holding your leg down, whether it's bent or straight. Option to take that second arm over your head. Next option is to lift your chest and shoulders for five. Come on, four, stay with it, work it, three. Two, and down. Oh my gosh. Nice job, you guys. Take your knees, take one knee in each palm, basically, and you're gonna do these circles in and out. In and out, yeah. Open them up in the middle. Nice. And then go the other direction, out to in. Time check. Ooh, I could've kept you here all day. Get two more, I think I looked. 
Let's flow a tiny bit before we end up back on the ground. So go ahead and rock and roll a couple times, crossing your ankles, hands, foundation forward, step your feet back. I'm just gonna stay profile to you guys on this round. So just listen to the legs or just make sure you um, switch legs. All right, you're in downward dog. Take two breaths in down dog. Nice. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. Listen carefully. Exhale. Step your right foot outside the right hand. The knees over the ankle. Sag to the back knee. Contract your abdominals. Inhale your right hand to the sky. Yes, we do this in warm-up a lot of times. Exhale this hand down. Take your right foot back up. Three-legged dog. Now listen. Exhale that same foot forward. The knee comes through. Step your right foot inside the hand. Listen carefully, inside the hand. Now keep your right hand or fingers down and take your left arm to the sky in crescent lunge, the lower arms lunge. Up, good. Exhale the hand down. Foundation hands, right foot goes right back up. Three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, right foot next to left foot, downward facing. You got it. We're gonna do that a couple times, so we'll get it. Inhale, second leg, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand. Micro bend the right knee, inhale, left hand reaches the sky, one breath. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, same leg, same leg. Exhale, that foot forward inside the hand. Make sure the left hand's on the ground as you take your right hand to the sky. Yes, exhale, the hand down, foundation both hands. Step your left foot back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time on each leg. Here we go. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot outside the hand. Sag to the knee. Inhale. Open. Yes. Exhale, hand goes down. That's great. Inhale up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the same foot inside the hand. Now, if you really want to spin the back heel down, you can. And then open up that left arm. Take the hand down. Right leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale that right foot down, last side. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left foot outside the left hand, sag to the right knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, hand comes down, good job you guys. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot inside the hand. You can spin the back heel down if you really want to. Take your right arm up to the sky, nice. Exhale the hand down. Last time, three-legged dog. Exhale that foot down. Two breaths here in downward dog. You can move, you can stay put, whatever you wanna do. Good job. Go ahead and float both knees down. And we are gonna be on our knees. So again, if you need to roll your mat or put a towel under there, not the one that you're gonna hold though, because we're gonna be using it. We haven't done some ladder work for a while. So we'll finish class with lateral, a little bit more um, front abdominals, and then you'll be done. So go ahead, if you're mirroring me, take your left foot out to the side. So again, shoulder, hip, knee in one line, and foundation that left foot, you're using this right glute. So tuck this tail under and push your right foot into the mat. That's important, that's why I take time to say that a lot. All right, hands up. Again, hands wider than the shoulders, front ribs in. The arms up and the towel are optional. Just give it a shot. You're gonna lean a little bit, just a little bit, to the right and back to center. Try to do that without shrugging your shoulders. Yes. So this left quadricep is fully engaged. Your right glute fully engaged. All right, so if you want a little bit more, bend your elbows and see if you can lean. Yes, this arm is gonna come close to your bicep and then back up. So that's gonna give you a little bit more uh, weight over there. And I am playing tug of war. So on the way down, I'm pulling with my right hand, or I'm resisting with my left, and then I'm pulling with my left. So you're gonna get a little bonus work on the tricep for that top arm. Now I'm trying not to do this. I'm leaning, but I'm not letting my head sort of dangle. I'm trying to keep the head up. You should be feeling lots of things, but this top side, your, probably your left side obliques, and probably your left tricep. Three more. 
Play tug of war. Woo. Two more. You got it. Oh my gosh. One more like that. Can you hold over? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Five, five, four. My arms are shaking. Three, two, and one. You're going to set the towel down right in front of you. Put your right hand on the ground. We're going to do a quick set of these uh, oblique knees. So take your left arm over your head. Elbow goes to knee. And here we go. It's 20. 19, you got this, 18, squeeze your right glute, 17, 16, nice, 15, 14, 13, smile, 12, 11, 10, smile because we're almost done, 9, 8, yes, 7, 6, nice work, 5, and 4, 3, last two, can you hold this one, why not, hold it, Hold it here. Some of you are going to extend your top leg and your arm. You don't have to, but you can. Five, four, three, lift your leg higher, two, and down. So I should have been this side and this glute a little bit. So first, push your hips back to the right and hands go out to the left. So it's sort of a child's pose at a diagonal. Breathe. We'll do both sides, don't worry. And then walk your hands to the right, bump your hips back to the left. Take two breaths. <sighs> nice. Walk your hands back to center. Come on up, reach for your towel. Second leg, second side. So, left hip over the left knee. Tuck your tail, squeeze your bottom, contract your right quadricep, hands a little wide in the shoulders. Be careful, it's a different side, so just test the waters here. Maybe having your arms over your head is too much. Maybe you put your fingers by your ears or even hands on your hips, that's fine, totally fine. If you're using a towel though, you're resisting. Shoulders away from ears, yes. Is your right quadricep still strong? Answer is yes. All right, so now if you want a little bit more, be cautious, this first one, you're pulling a little bit down to the left and you're really pulling back up with this uh, right elbow. So I'm gonna let my elbow and my bicep go by my ear and then pull. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Left glute totally working, right quad totally working. Right tricep, if you're bending the elbow and straightening it, is working. And of course, right oblique. There's so much going on over here. Nice, you guys. Good. Shoulders away from ears best you can. I know you might have to shrug a little bit over here, but see if you can soften it to come up. Ooh, two more. You gotta play tug of war to get that tricep involved. Last one. You're gonna hold the down, maybe you're gonna hold the down if that's okay for you. Squeeze your butt, hold, 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 hold. Five like that, four, three, nice, you guys too. And up, just put the towel on the ground. Left hand goes to the ground underneath the shoulder. Uh, right hand overhead, let's go. All right, I'm counting now, 20, <laughs> 18, good. 17, oh, I missed one. 17, 16, 15, nice, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, squeeze your left glute, 7, 6, don't forget we're holding at the end, 5, last 4, last 3, 2, hold this one up, so maybe you just hold this, that's great, maybe you want to extend your leg and extend your arm, that's great too, if your leg is straight, can you get your leg higher, ah, 4, 3, two, and drop. Oof. So same thing, we're gonna push our hips to one side and hands go diagonal the other direction. You pick whatever side you want. Breathe. Every time you exhale now, since we're getting towards the end of class, soften. And then moving your hands to the second side, hips go uh, back in opposition of those hands. Nice. All right, if you have a roll in your, in your towel or mat, take it out. We're gonna finish on our backs very, very quickly. So go ahead and lay all the way down. Find your Shavasana. So this is a total resting 
position. Eyes are closed or soft. Breathing in and out through your nose and lengthening those exhalations. Inhale. With every exhale, just let go. Staying mentally on this mat for just a couple more moments, allowing your body to integrate all that work that you did. This is where you get stronger, is during the rest. Take one more breath. Start to make some small movements, fingers, toes, maybe you wrinkle your mouth and your brow. Very, very slowly and very gently rolling onto your favorite side. Take one or two breaths on your side, keeping your eyes soft, and then pressing yourself carefully up to any seated position that feels right for you. Hands are resting gently on your thighs. You can have palms down or palms up, whatever feels right. Again, continue with that breath. Feel the earth underneath your sits bones. And as you inhale, grow taller in your spine. Top of the head reaches to the sky. Bring your hands to heart center. Thumbs will literally push into your sternum. And as you're pushing your thumbs in, see if you can lift them up a couple millimeters so your skin lifts in the front to encouraging the softness in the back body. Take up just one or two breaths to thank yourself for showing up to this class, for showing up for yourself. And then I thank you for joining me. You are the best part of my day, truly. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you soon. Yay, 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 team.